Welcome back to the Ancestral Findings Podcast. Norma Zimmer was a talented soprano singer who found fame in the 1950s in various singing groups. She also landed a job on The Lawrence Welk Show, one that would last for decades and that made her a household name of the time. A farm girl who loved to sing, Norma found incredible success in a tough industry. This is her story. Norma Zimmer was on The Lawrence Welk Show for 22 years and was known as the Champagne Lady on the show. She was born Norma Larson on a dairy farm in Shoshone County, Idaho, in 1923. Though she grew up in Seattle, Washington, Norma's dad moved the family to Seattle when Norma was two years old. Norma's dad was a violin teacher. Norma truly wished to learn how to play the violin when she was a child, but her dad told her that her hands were too small to completely play the instrument. Instead, young Norma studied voice. In this area, she proved to be extremely talented. She was also an excellent student in regular academics. In fact, Norma was offered a scholarship to Seattle University, but it was clear where her true passion lay. Instead of accepting the huge honor of the scholarship, she chose to continue studying voice. Norma was singing in a church choir when, one Sunday, the church had a guest artist present to sing with the choir. This guest artist was impressed with Norma's singing and suggested to her that she go to Los Angeles, California and audition for musical groups out there. As soon as she turned 18, this is exactly what Norma did. Young Norma was, in fact, a highly talented vocalist and she soon found the work she was seeking. She sang with a variety of vocal groups in Los Angeles, including the Norman Luboff Choir and the Ken Darby Singers. While the young Norma was a beginning, promising professional singer, she married Randy Zimmer, who was a builder and property developer. They wed in 1944 and made their home together in Los Angeles. Their marriage was a wonderful success, with them being together for 64 years until 2008, when Randy crossed to the other side. They had two sons together named Ron and Mark. A few years after her marriage, Norma made her solo debut on the radio. This was in 1947 on a radio show called Sparkle Time. At the time she made her solo radio debut, Norma was also performing weekly on the same show as a member of a vocal group called The Singers. A bit later, Norma became a solo singer on a radio show called Standard School. In the 1950s, Norma appeared on the most popular TV variety shows of that decade. She also landed a small singing role in the 1950 film Mr. Music, starring Bing Crosby, and also portrayed the singing voice of the White Rose in the Walt Disney Company animated film Alice in Wonderland in 1951. In 1956, Norma performed as a studio singer on Lawrence Welk's Thanksgiving album. The Lawrence Welk Show had a female soloist named Alice Lawn, and she was quite popular. In 1959, she left the show following monetary and scheduling conflicts with the show. The audience loved Alice, and there were protests at her leaving the program. Lawrence tried to get her back to the show, but she wouldn't do it. So he tried out several female singers over the next year, with one of those singers being Norma. Norma officially joined the show as the new female soloist, also known as the show's Champagne Lady, on New Year's Eve in 1960. During the next three years, Norma appeared on each episode of the show and also traveled with Lawrence and his band when they made personal appearances. Since her two sons were young during this time and she didn't want to miss them growing up, Norma decided to give up show business and stay home to raise them. Lawrence didn't want to lose his treasure in Norma as his champagne lady, so he brought on a new girl each week to try out for Norma's part, while asking Norma to come back the next week for just one more show. Lawrence kept doing this with Norma for the next 20 years. As the show's champagne lady, Norma sang one solo song per show minimum and often sang a duet as well typically with Jimmy Roberts. 
She also danced often with Lawrence himself, usually at the end of the show. In addition to her work on The Lawrence Welk Show, Norma made some solo albums for world records. She was a gorgeous soprano voice, almost perfect, which wasn't a typical voice, and was highly sought after by bands, radio shows, and TV shows of the time. In her career, Norma sang lead soprano with the Norman Luboff Choir, the voices of Walter Schumann Group, the Peter King Chorale, and the Ken Darby Singers. She also performed as the lead soprano with a girl quartet group called The Girlfriends. The Girlfriends sang backup vocals for the likes of such illustrious performers as Frank Sinatra, Perry Como, and Dean Martin, as well as other singers of the time. The Girlfriends also sang backup on Bing Crosby's famous cover of Irving Berlin's song, White Christmas. Norma also dipped a toe a few times into the world of Christian music. In 1972, she traveled around the world singing at religious concerts. She also sang with the Billy Graham crusade on the TV show, Hour of Power. In addition, Norma was once a soloist at the White House when Richard Nixon was president. She also recorded a number of traditional Christian music albums. Besides singing, Norma loved to paint and did it as a hobby. In her life, she made more than a hundred paintings, most of them being portraits. Also, she owned a ski lodge with her husband at a place called Kratka Ridge, and additionally owned, also with her husband, a mobile home park with more than a hundred spaces for mobile homes. Norma crossed to the other side at her home in Brea, California in 2011, at the age of 87. She left behind a beautiful legacy of delightful, wholesome music that the entire family can enjoy. She also left her sons, as well as three grandchildren, to carry on the light she brought to this planet. Many thanks for listening and following the Ancestral Findings podcast. Visit AncestralFindings.com to download a free genealogy ebook, inquire about a free genealogy lookup, and register for the weekly historical postcard giveaway. And thank you to everyone who contributes via Patreon. It helps keep this instrument in tune, this dirigible in the air, and this boat on the water. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy searching.